Hey guys, this is Jameson Valentine, and today we are talking about your next Taco Tuesday. We're gonna teach you all about carne asada and making your own tortillas. It's super simple, super easy, and let's get into it. So what we have in here is about a cup and a half of flour. We have 1.125 cups of water. And we're just gonna mix it up slowly. Add in some water. We're gonna start squeezing our masa together. And then you're gonna start seeing it starting to come together. Put it in a Ziploc bag, keep it in room temperature for about 30 minutes. Super important, let everything hydrate. Get all the air out. We're gonna use flank steak. Lime juice. Use a juicer. Should get all of it out. We're gonna add a half a cup of olive oil. We're gonna take our mortar and pestle. Now this is cumin seeds. This is about a tablespoon of cumin seeds. We're just gonna break them up. And the reason why I want to go with cumin seeds is because I really want that freshness of flavor. Freshly ground cumin. You definitely smell it. Chili powder. Give it a quick mix. Add it in to our liquids. We're gonna need three cloves of garlic. And then with this, just give it a quick rush chop. Next, jalapeno. We're gonna need half, and the other half you can use as a garnish. Now this is something you can do first thing in the morning, and then let this sit all day, nice and happy. Or you can do this about an hour in advance. Cilantro stems. These are awesome, because there's a lot of good cilantro flavor, but you don't have to pick out all the leaves. All we're gonna do with this is press to break open the cells. We're gonna put the cilantro stems into our Ziploc bag. Some people like to season the marinade. I actually like to season with salt and pepper the steak before I put it in the marinade. Don't be afraid of the salt. And we're gonna grill this. We want the salt to penetrate all of the nooks and crannies. Nice and high, even distribution. Add it in, flip it. You kinda see all those muscle fibers. That's what we want. Get it in those muscle fibers. Carefully, lay our seasoned steak in here. Now the reason why I want to go to Ziploc bag is because I want constant contact of the marinade and the meat. So no air pockets. I want it to be airtight. All right, so you can see that marinade is covering every little bit. Kind of massage a little bit, you know? Get in all those little nooks and crannies. Make sure it's on the other side. We can sit this on, on the counter for one hour or overnight or eight hours in the fridge while you're at work. Is our salsa. And one hinge side. Go with the hinge side of the tortilla press. Take our tortilla press. We're gonna gently press. Yes. 
So we have our tortilla holder with some paper in there. As soon as our tortillas are nice and done cooked, we're gonna put them into a tortilla warmer. And then put these on the side, stay warm. Good for about a week if you put them in the Ziploc bags. Make sure they're cooled down before you throw them in the fridge. So our steak is nice and happy and marinated. Still nice and piping hot. If you are putting this in the fridge, make sure you take it out an hour before we cook this. Try to get as much of the little goodies off as you can. Let's do this thing. So I really want a good sear on this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a something heavy to kind of weigh it down. So it has nice contact the entire time. No gray meat here. We want a good sear. We're gonna cook this for about two minutes, two to three minutes on each side. Our internal temperature is 120 degrees. Nice, good sear. That's what we're looking for. Nice and happy sear. We're gonna make a little happy bed for it. And we're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes. Kind of just seal all the juices in, keeps it nice and warm, nice and happy. And all we're gonna do is just cut this against the grain, nice and thin. We have our tortilla nice and happy. And of course, gotta go with the hot sauce from Nuke. That's our taco. And that's it, y'all. This is how you make my favorite little taco, carne asada. If you like steak, this is the best way to do it. Thank you, Nuke Sauce, for the hot sauce because this is going to be delicious. And of course, finish off a little bit of lime. And of course, throw it down your gullet. Mm. All right, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I'm gonna be over here for a little while. Enjoy. Cheers. I'm not sharing any of this with you guys. Not in a little bit. <laughs>